Hi, really quickly, I wanted to show you something. I am pretty much on the cusp of where my hair needs to be washed and where I can get away with one more day. But to make that last day count, what I like to do is I like to use cornstarch. Oh, I put a lot, yikes. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. okay, we're just gonna roll with it. Cornstarch because it is finer than baby powder. And I like to get it right in the roots and make sure that I rub it in really, really, really good so I can soak up that excess oil. Next thing that I wanted to touch base on, the advent calendars that I was sharing with you, I bought the 12-day advent calendar for Clarins and the full 24-day. I am wowed by their lip oil and their natural lip protector. Such great products. Next is their mascara. Ironically, I'm not wearing it today because I'm using the Merit mascara. You know, when you open a mascara, you have about, I think, 30 days before it starts to get kind of clumpy. And so I just wanted to alternate with all the mascaras I had open. So that's why I'm not wearing that today. Next, the micellar water. Love the micellar water at night when it's time to get ready for bed. Takes off all of the eye makeup. Such a breeze to take it off with. Now, we're gonna go and do a couple of things. I think Sephora is our next stop. Before we get into my outfit of the day, I just wanted to show you, these came in the mail. I got a couple of things from Fabletics. They were having their end of the year sale. And I think these kicks are so cute. It's got the combination of the pink and then in the front with the emblem of the pink and the green. This helps me to incorporate the beige nude from my Balenciaga. And I just really love these. They have a nice little reflector over here in case you go night walking, which I've been doing lately. And I just wanted to share that. I'm gonna show you the rest of everything else that I have tomorrow. Oh, here's another detail of Fabletics on the back here as well. My outfit for the evening, believe it or not, I got this color combination idea from Skittles. Okay, my outfit of the day, and believe it or not, I got this color combination idea from a package of Skittles. Uh, so I'm wearing my, this is a Fabletics tracksuit that I have underneath, part of the sales. This is a Balenciaga hourglass bag. This is my new obsession, my H&M long hooded puffer it is water resistant if it rains or snows outside i'll stay nice and warm and dry i was in the aisle to pick up coffee creamer, the employee that was sorting out the creamers was going like <coughs> <coughs> right into the groceries. I was so disgusted. I said, I'm gonna go to another grocery store and get that. In the meantime, I picked up some kombucha. I love kombucha. There are a lot of health benefits to it. It's got antibiotics, I'm sorry, probiotics, gluten-free, all of that good stuff. Now we can go to Sephora. Okay, quick pit stop in CVS because I keep forgetting to pick up this item and then we can go to Sephora. From Sephora, I picked up this Biosance Squalene Elderberry and Jelly Cleanser. It is supposed to really help you remove your makeup and it provides deep facial cleansing. I actually really like this brand. In fact, <laughs> this is my second time. This one I actually ordered from online. I think it's an online exclusive, but I specifically really enjoy this vitamin C and rose oil in the winter time. It also comes with a lactic acid cream and eye cream. Then there's also this squalene gel moisturizer if you have oily skin, and then they have the Omega Rich with squalene if you have dry skin, but I use it all regardless. Main reason I bought this is because the last one I had, this entire bottle spilled out onto the floor after I had only used it three times. I was devastated. And then I replenished on my SK2 Essence. Uh, I use this in place of a toner. It acts as a segue for your skincare and allows whatever you're using 
as treatment to just soak deeper into your skin, which I love. I picked this up. I had a code for, I think it was through Retail Me Not, and I got this 2% beta hydroxy liquid exfoliant. This is actually a pretty good size, 10 ml, and this was free with purchase. I saved all my points. There wasn't anything that I was interested in, and so for the samplers, I picked up the It Cream CC SPF 40, and I wanted to try this Yves Saint Laurent Bare Look Tint. Looks pretty interesting. Oh, you know what I just noticed? It says hybrid. Ah, I love that. Okay, okay, Yves Saint Laurent. I see what you did there. Outfit of the day is going to be this knit sweater that I picked up from H&M. Also, this vest. This vest is actually quite a lifesaver to wear underneath jackets because it's so thin but it's still padded enough to insulate you, keeps you so warm. And then I'm pairing it with these joggers that are somewhat in the same color. So I'm going for a monochromatic-ish look. My base layers under this so I don't freeze to death is going to be this really nice, it's a jersey style high neck and it goes underneath my sweater. I like to let the sleeves peek out from the cuffs and also the top neck peek out from here because this actually camouflages itself into the green one way or another. And then because it's in the gray family, it helps to pick up the gray from this bag, which is gonna be my bag of choice. This is a set that I picked up from Amazon. Uh, it's obviously two piece. The top is a scoop neck, long sleeves. The material on this is unreal i wish you could feel this i love the way it feels underneath joggers and they fit really well underneath jeans as well i went to sephora the other day tell me if you do this i cannot believe the things that i get cheap over i'll walk into sephora and spend 20 something dollars on a facial wash another 20 something dollars on a lipstick and then when they ask me do you want a bag for 10 cents i'm like no well guess what happened i lost my lipstick Ugh so obnoxious. I'm thinking after physical therapy, if Sephora is still open, ugh, it pains me, but I really want this color. You know what? Maybe I just won't get it. Today I'm pairing this knit sweater with these jeans. Both are from H&M. And rather than go for the green vest, instead I'm going to layer this on top. This is the shacket that I picked up from Zara last year with the long gilet over it. And then my base layers are going to be this uh, set from Amazon again. And if I find that the neck is too itchy, it's the first time I'm pairing this top with the sweater. I'll probably switch out to the Fabletics jersey that I had on yesterday, but it, I have it also in a sepia color. It protects my neck so that I don't feel so itchy when I have high necks like this. And incorporating my Louis Vuitton boots with my hat. Today I'm on my way to the post office. I have this ASOS delivery that did not work out. And then I have a couple of packages that I'm sending out that I sold from my closet. It's a mission to declutter your closet, let me tell you something. But uh, slowly but surely, I am chipping away at that damn iceberg. After I'm done with that, I am going to bring you with me. I went to Saks and the mascara from the Kantakai advent calendar, it was sold out at Saks the last time I went. I'm going to try my hand at Neiman Marcus. Hopefully they carry it. I'm not sure why I absolutely love this mascara. Yeah, probably because the claims are that it promotes lash growth. It's kind to the environment. It's cruelty free. All of those healthy things that I look for in products. Change of plans because what I wanted to exchange, I forgot it. There's no sense going all the way to the mall because I don't have what I want to exchange and I'm not going just for a mascara. I am going to take a little browse in TJ Maxx. There are a couple of things that I need for my kitchen. Okay, thank you.
next day, we're expecting a snowstorm starting tonight and I'm trying to get some groceries. And then I wanted to exchange something from TJ Maxx, which really isn't a priority in the middle of a snowstorm, but we haven't had even the start of snowfall yet. I'm thinking that I could squeeze that in really quickly because there's a project that I want to work on with my perfume bottles. And I really would like your opinion about something. I kind of have been weighing back and forth between throwing away the coffret packaging that comes with certain bottles. The reason I've been holding onto them for as long as I have been is because some of the bottles that I have are clear. At one point I had them in an area where there was some, I would say, you know, like direct to indirect medium sunlight. And I just wanted to protect the fragrance. But now that I have an area that's going to be dedicated, it's going to be completely in the dark. Should I hold on to the boxes? I don't know what to do. Let's just be honest here. Sometimes the packaging is so pretty, you don't want to throw it away. Just from presentation alone. I'd really love to know what you think about that. That's it for now. I'll, I'll keep you updated. See that box right there? I have something very boring but exciting to show you at the same time. A couple of things that I picked up from Amazon specifically for my car. One of them being this. It helps you clean the inside of your windshield all the way down to the bottom. So on those days where you have like condensation that just keeps building up, eventually over time it leaves a residue. So I'm gonna flip the camera around to show you how well this goes all the way down. It came in a two pack, by the way. So you, um, you, you assemble the wand. This flips back and forth. It comes with extra microfiber cloth covers, two different colors. So I picked the two pack up because I want to give one to my love. I'll leave it in the description below how many microfiber covers you get in the package, but let me show you how it works. Oh, and it comes also with two spray bottles because what you do is you fill it up with water, just do a light mist over your windshield, and then you start wiping down. Let's just do a light spritz like that. Literally, that's all you need. And you can start from the top and I just like to do one stroke all the way down. I keep doing it until it's completely dry. The next thing I picked up, you're gonna think that this is a little much. However, I cannot stand having a plastic shopping bag just hanging from my stick shift or hanging from my glove box. I just, I hate it. But I carry tissues, we have to wear masks all the time, sprays, just empty water bottles, and it accumulates. So I picked up, now at first glance, this is going to look like a lunch box. What this actually is, it's an insulated, so it's waterproof, garbage can for your car. And it's got this really cool opening on the top. So everything goes in discreetly. It's an easy lift top cover and it comes with liners. I would imagine that when I run out of these, I can either go through the company or I could probably just go to the dollar store and find something similar. It also comes with a strap. So if you wanted to put it around, I don't know if I want to do that though. Let's see here. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's actually pretty convenient. For example, tissue, just stuff it in it. Oh, here's how it looks hanging from the back seat of the car. I would obviously take this down if I had a passenger in the back. Here's the top and voila. Then the last thing that I picked up, this is a dual charger. It still allows for USB capability, but it's got the USB-C, which is so super convenient. When you plug this in to your, I don't know what they call it, it used to be cigarette lighter. It lights up blue so that you know that it is on. As you can see, USB fits perfectly. We stick it in the socket and you see, 